Big weekend on tap for the defending champions in a matchup reminiscent of the Huskies national championship victory just a year ago. Yeah, UConn battles San Diego State in the Sweet 16 round in Boston, a rematch of last year's national title game. Fox 61 Sports Director Jonah Karp is up in Boston following the Huskies quest for back-to-back -back titles. It was just about a year ago I was standing on the floor of NRG Stadium in Houston, surrounded by confetti, and reporting that UConn beat San Diego State to win the national championship. Well, now I'm in Boston ahead of a Sweet 16 matchup where we've got the same matchup, UConn versus San Diego State, and a chance for the Aztecs to get some revenge. By the way, only the fourth time in NCAA tournament history that a title game rematch is occurring the following year. Of course, each unit looks a little different than the ones from last season. Here Here's one big way the Huskies are different. They've got a star freshman in Stefan Castle this year, who's one of the most dynamic players in the country. Forget the freshman label. Steph can shut down the best opposing guards in the nation. We saw it in the round of 32, where he stifled the scoring of Northwestern star Boo Booey. And it's no accident. Defense is a strong element of Castle's game. How much pride do you take in your defense? Um, I mean, I mean a lot. Um, you know, I just, I mean, I just want to win games. So, I mean. Um, if, if that means, you know, guarding other team's best player, then that, that's what it'll be. He's the best freshman in the country, and I feel like he's proven that. Um, you know, people may not see it, but if you go look at the numbers, you know, no one guards the ball the way he does in the country. You know, not even just freshmen, like all players. You show yourself to a high standard. I mean, I don't know if there's a higher standard than trying to be perfect, so... Uh, just trying to hold myself to that kind of standard every single day. You know, he wants to play defense. He wants to, you know, do whatever his team needs him to do. And, you know, he's not like any other freshman, just the way he, you know, helps his team win. Castle's defense could play a big role again, but the guy to stop for the Aztecs is Jaden Ledee, and he's a forward, a guy who the front court will be tasked with stopping. The only player on San Diego State, by the way, who's averaging double figures in scoring. He puts up an average of about 21 and a half points per game. And how about the fact that this Sweet 16 matchup is taking place here in Boston? We already have Madison Square Garden, affectionately nicknamed Store South, and after last weekend's two victories at Barclays Center, you can loop Brooklyn in there as well. How about Boston being stores north? The Huskies hope the faithful creates that kind of environment. TD Garden the home for the next two rounds of the NCAA tournament in this region, starting with the rematch of last year's championship game. UConn taking on San Diego State, a long way to travel for the Aztecs, but only a short trip up from Connecticut for Husky Nation and for people close to some of the players like Massachusetts native Alex Caravan. How many friends and family do you have come tomorrow? I have no idea. I have my mom and uh, Chris dealing with that right now, so um, I'll probably know right when after the game or before the game, So, but I honestly have no idea. Alex is a Celtics guy. You know, I'm, I'm more of a Knicks guy, so we, we, we have a battle. We clash a little bit, but I mean, playing in Boston um, has, such, has, has such rich culture. Uh, 17 championships, maybe 18. Uh, so it's going to be electric. It's going to be a great feeling. We're going to be ready for it. Hassan Diara knows a thing or two about playing in his hometown. He's from Queens, so Brooklyn was a homecoming for him. Husky fans traveled well down to Brooklyn, and we're going to see them again here in Boston for a sweet 16 battle between UConn and San Diego State. In Boston, Jonah Cart, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.